Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to download and install MinGW which is the compiler for C program and also I will be showing you how to set up Visual Studio Code for C and also run your first C program over there. So let's get started. So just go to Google and type download MinGW. You will be getting this sourceforge.net and here you will be having MinGW. Just click on that. And here you can see that right, it has about 4 million weekly downloads. So it's completely trustable. And here you will also be having download button. And here also you will be having the instructions for downloading. So just click on this download button. So the download is completed. Just click on open. And you will be getting this MinGW installation manager setup. Just click on install. Here you need to select the directory where you want to install. If you want to change it, you can just click on this change button. So I have changed the path and I'll just click on continue and I have these things checked OK. Just click on continue and our download process will first begin. So once everything is downloaded, just click on continue and you'll be getting this MinGW installation manager over here. And in this, we need to basically check all the packages that we are going to install. So you need to just click on this checkbox thing and you need to click for mock for installation. Okay come to the next one check it and click mark for installation so do this for everything except Fortran alright we don't need Fortran compiler so just do that for everything except that if you want you can also do that it's totally up to you if you think you are gonna work with uh, Fortran in the future you can do that but except that I will go for every other thing so once you're done selecting you need to click on this installation option and you need to click on apply changes and here just click on apply so the installation will begin now. Once the installation is complete, you will be getting this message. All changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog box. So I'll just close this. And also I will close our MinGW installation manager. So now we need to add the MinGW path to our environment variable. So for this, we need to go to the folder where we have installed MinGW. So for doing that, the simplest way is just go to search and just type MinGW you'll be getting this MinGW installation manager app you need to just click on open file location and here also you'll be having this just right click and just click on open file location again so it will directly take you to the folder where you have MinGW and here in the top you can see right MinGW is there just click on that and here you'll be having this bin and just select this entire path I hope it made sense. It's basically the default folder where you have installed your MinGW. In most of the cases, it's going to be C, MinGW and bin. All right. So just select that, copy this, control C and just go to search and now type environment variables. Just click on open. And in this, click on this environment variables. Go to path, click on edit, path under system variables. Click on new and just paste it. It's going to be local disk C or D minjw slash bin. All right. So I'm just clicking on OK everywhere. Yeah, here also. And now go to search again. And this time we are going to type command prompt. And let me just now zoom in. So it's going to be. And I will just type G plus plus space hyphen hyphen version. And if I just hit enter. So we will be getting this G plus plus minjw version over here. So in case if you aren't getting this and if you are getting G++ is not recognized or some kind of error, it means that you haven't added the right path to your environment variable. So make sure that you have added the correct path there. So just go to Google and type download Visual Studio code. You will be getting the first link over here as codevisualstudio.com. Just click that. And here you will be having Visual Studio code for different OS. There is for Windows, Linux and Mac. I'm going to download it for Windows. So I'll just click on this Windows. Okay. So the download will get automatically started. So it is about 88.8 .8 MB in size. So just be patient. So once the download is complete, just click on open. And you'll be getting like this license agreement. Just click on I accept. You can just scroll down and read it. Next. So this is the location where Visual Studio Code will be installed. So if you want, you can just browse and change the location. I am fine with the default one. Just click on next. And next as well. And here you can like create a desktop icon and it's always good to have this one just check this okay action to windows explorer yeah better to give check everything 
and just click on next and install such a simple installation process okay yeah so once the installation is done just click on launch visual studio code and click on finish so this is the first interface that you will be getting after you launch visual studio code so you can like change the theme there is light dark contrast light contrast dark so in the top you will be having a option called as file just click that and also select open folder and in this you will need to go to the desired folder where you want to create your c project so let me just go to desktop and right click over here and click on new and let me just give folder and let me name it as c project and click on it and just select folder so here you can see now i am inside this c project folder but inside this we are not having any files or contents so to create a c program here on that particular folder name you will be having a plus icon called as new file just select that and here we need to specify our c program file name so it's going to be new pro and you need to have here the extension so it's going to be dot c and here you can see i'll be getting a icon called as c and just hit enter so this is going to be our c program and it has also recognized the language as c and it will show you a pop up asking you do you want to install the recommended c and c++ extension just click on install so this will basically contain a package of extensions so if you just click on that pop up it will basically install you this extension pack over here and it is from microsoft and it has these many downloads so it's absolutely legit so once you're done installing this extension you need to also install another extension which is called as code runner so just go to this extensions you'll be having here explorer search and at the bottom you'll be having extensions just click that and if you aren't able to see any pop up what you can do is you can just clear this off and you can just search for c in the extensions so you'll be getting the same extension pack in the search also if you aren't getting that pop up so once you're done installing this one next thing what we need to install is code runner so just search for code runner you'll be having this one and this has also around like 20 million downloads so absolutely trustable you can just click on install so now we are done installing the two extensions so after doing this we need to just close and open our visual studio code so let me just now close and open it yeah i have now restarted my visual studio code so now for changing the font size you need to go to manage this icon over here click on settings and here you will be having the font size 40 to 45 will be good and we need to make here another change also so that we will be able to run our program and view the output in the terminal itself just click on extensions if you scroll down here you will be having this run code configuration click that and if you just scroll down here we will be having this run in terminal thing so you need to check that I think by default it will be unchecked so you need to just check this option okay whether to run code in integrated terminal just check this i'll just close this now and now let's just begin our coding so it's going to be hash include stdio.h stdio yeah so you'll be getting this auto complete and intelligence because of that extension and it's going to be int main and printf we just go with hello this is fine so for running this program there are two ways i will show you both the ways so the first way is by using the terminal so for running a terminal we need to first open the terminal so just go to your file name over here right click and here you'll be having option called as open in integrated terminal just select that and you'll be getting that terminal in that path so here you can see c project and c project so that folder should be over here so the command is going to be gcc space your program or file name with the extension so it's going to be new pro dot c in my case and hit enter so in case if you're having any errors it will throw you the error over here because this compiles our code so after compiling you will be having this a.exe as an output extra file so now we, if we run this a.exe file we will be getting the output in our terminal so for running this file it's going to be dot slash a and just hit enter 
so here you can see i'm getting the output over here so this is the first way this is much more complex way of running it so the second way is going to be here in the top right you'll be having this play icon so you'll be having something called as debug run code run c slash c plus plus file so you want to just click on this drop down and you want to select run code so if you click that you'll be getting the output in the terminal itself and don't forget to add this setting okay this setting that i told you earlier that code run configuration and here you want to check run in terminal all right in settings under extensions make sure that you do it otherwise you'll be getting the output in the output terminal rather than the main terminal all right so we can do the live change also i'll just add world to this i'm saving it and if you are having this run button as run code you can do it if you aren't having run code directly on this play button you need to just click on this run code don't click on debug so i'll just run it now i'll be getting hello world so the changes are getting you know affected immediately so this is basically how you download mingw and run your fast program in visual studio code for c language so i hope you would have found this video useful do check the playlist of my channel i've done a lot of tutorials in c c plus plus java python node.js react.js mongodb mysql queries as well as cloud operations using node.js and spring boot 3d animation using blender and ui designs using figma check them out subscribe me thanks for watching